So I learned a new rhythm from Didgeridoo Dojo, uh, which is part of didgeridoobreath.com. I needed some new inspiration and uh, signed up for a month. Um, there's a lot of material there that's worth it for at least a month. And uh, this is the rhythm that has really stuck with me and is expanding my polyrhythmic understanding and ability. <laughs> So what you have is, uh, you know, four beats going to speed and then layered over the top of that, four sets of triplets and then a pause or anything you want to fill in actually, um, a toot, a couple notes, fast notes. It's the four triplets um, overlaid with this other timing that is what's so mind expanding. I don't even know how to talk about it exactly. Da 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 On the website Didgeridoo Dojo, it was described as do, di do, da do, di do, da do. Do, di do, da do, di do, da do. That wasn't working for me at all. He did mention in the video that it's uh, using bounce breath or the wobble. And as soon as I let that start to happen, it clicked. So the first step is uh, a rhythm that's basically three beats. You can repeat it so it just rolls along. And there are a few different ways to talk about it. Here's what it sounds like. Towa'i is how I learned this. The first part of it, the to, uh, is kind of a push of air. It allows your face to expand so that you're ready to circular breathe on the next beat. And then the third beat, the towa'i, or a, ah, or other sound, uh, is when you breathe out again. So, eat, 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 hurt, 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 hold, hold, or whatever. Um, so, in the rhythm uh, on the website, it's described with an E sound and an A sound, and they go back and forth. So, eat, ot, eat, a do. Eat, ot, eat, a do. But now you see my finger is starting to match the downbeat of every triplet. That's easier. What makes it amazing, what makes it sound like syncopation is when you're using a different timing for the the downbeat. The downbeat uh, that we're working toward corresponds with different parts of each triplet as you move through the rhythm. Starts at the same time as the first triplet, do a e. Then on the next one, it's on the in breath, do a e do a a, do a e do a, do a e do a a. On the third triplet, um, it corresponds with the E. Do wa e do wa a do wa e. Do wa e do wa a do wa e. Do wa e do wa a do wa e. Do wa e do wa a do wa e. Do wa e do wa a do wa e. And then it corresponds with the final do, the beginning of the pause. Do wa e do wa a do wa e. Do wa e do wa a do. Walk into the 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 walk into
It's amazing when that starts to click. I feel my brain just totally expanding. The next thing that happened just today was a sense of the four triplets breaking in half and becoming six and six. Suddenly I'm feeling, not really thinking, but feeling six and six. <laughs> Something about that really has expanded my sense of this rhythm even more. Uh, and then with time, you can gain speed. But again, it's always good to go back to the triplets to build that fluidity. And within the triplets, play with the E and the A ah sound. So you can go back and forth, uh, forth with them, for example. You can just play with the E. Or just the more ah, er. Back and forth. So when you put it in the bigger rhythm, then it actually stands out more. I've also been playing with all E's, all A's, A ah, then E, E, A, ah, A, ah, E, A, ah, E, E, A. Ah. Try that one. A, ah, E, E, A. Ah. let me know. I'm totally into teaching it. Got a workshop coming up and uh, have fun playing.